Not every topper shouts success. Some just stay calm and deliver it. Our next problem solver is a disciplined and dependable student who believes in remaining steady rather than stressing out. Meet Arav Agarwal, who secured All India Rank 10 in NEET UG 2025. Hi, Arav. Hello. Welcome and congratulations. Thank you. Let's begin with uh, learning a little bit more about you and your family. Uh, so, my name is Arav. I am from Mumbai. Uh, I live with my parents and my grandmother. Okay. So, what inspired you to pursue medicine? So, basically, in 9th standard, when I used to attend my foundation coaching, so that time I started liking biology as a subject, especially the human physiology and all that. So, I decided, yes, I should pursue a career in medicine. Okay. And how is the environment? in the house, how proud is everybody in the family knowing that you've got such an exceptional rank? Everyone is very happy and uh, of course very proud that I achieved such a rank and they are happy since the results have been declared. That's that's phenomenal. So, tell us, Arav, is it true that toppers only study and don't do anything? No, not <laughs> true. It's not true? No. So, what are your interests and hobbies apart from, of course, studying? So, basically, like whenever I used to study, I used to be like, uh, whatever time I am studying, I have to maximize that and focus on the quality. So, it was not like I used to sit for 8 hours continuously and like keep studying. Mm -hmm. I like, uh, whenever, like I used to come in the afternoon back. So, I used to relax for 1 hour, have lunch. Mm -hmm. Then I used to study. Then in the evening, again I took 1, 1 1.5 hours break. So, I used to take breaks in between my study. I also used to watch TV at night with oh, my family. That's good. That's good. So it's not like I used to study continuously. Okay. But was there any hobby that you indulged into? Hobby, uh, I, I used to play tennis. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. And I like to watch Formula One on TV. So uh, Saturday, Sunday, I used to take some time off and watch Formula One. So after your exam got over, how much of F1 did you watch? <laughs> <laughs> A lot Way of more. it, Way. Not, not just the weekend, it was the weekdays as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's talk about your uh, preparation strategy. Any other uh, books that you refer to apart from NCERT? Uh, so basically, when I started my preparation, I start, I basically, when I used to watch the strategy videos and my teachers, so basically they told me to focus mainly on the NCERT textbook okay. as maximum questions come directly from the theory of NCERT. Okay. But I decided that I have to practice a lot of questions to cover the variety of questions and also to understand all concepts uh, thoroughly, not just to like ki ratta maar liya vaisa nahi. Hmm. Pura concepts I have to learn clearly and my teachers helped in that. Books I followed, for physics I used to uh, solve DC Pandey, chemistry, senge, uh, A to Z chemistry, biology, MTG okay. and of course the modules. Okay, but you ensure that your basics were? Yes. Absolutely strong. Yeah. Okay. There's one very interesting thing that we've gotten to know about you. Uh, when your mock test score did not come out as expected, probably, mm. you did not panic. Uh, no. That is a different level of calm for that age that you're in. Please elaborate. How did you build that mindset? Uh, so basically, like when I started giving test like, in 11 standard only, like a sl from first to third test, slowly my marks were increasing. So I was like happy. Like, but uh, like sometimes the marks used to come less. Mm -hmm. So initially, I was a little bit like, why did it come? But uh, usse mein, like, my family was very supportive. Tha. So like my father used to tell me, ki, like, this is a marathon. You do not have to uh, be top in every test, but you have to try to improve, reduce your mistakes. So basically, I learned that, yes, uh, my final exam is neat. I have to do well in that. All other tests, I have to do my best. But that would not impact, that would not uh, decide my rank in the NEET exam. So basically, I have to give be my best and analyze my mistakes so that's, I can do well in NEET. That's a wonderful advice that uh, Ara's father gave that it's a marathon, so don't sprint. You'll exhaust your energy before it's a marathon, so prepare accordingly. And I think that very yes. well helped for you. Yes. So Ara's uh, NEET 2025 paper was tougher as compared to the previous years. Mm. Did that push you to alter your uh, exam attempting strategy? I mean, you've scored a phenomenal rank. So I'm sure the students would be very curious to know yeah. this. Yeah. So basically, in 11th only when I started giving the test. So it was general trend in NEET students to uh, uh, attempt biology first. Okay. Because it's generally easier than the physics and chemistry. And it like all the teachers, like upper confidence build over, then you can attempt the 
rest of the paper easily mm -hmm. but from starting only uh, i used to attempt physics then chemistry and then biology and i felt that that strategy was working from me so i followed it thoroughly for the 11 10 12 full two years even in the final month all the full syllabus mock test i gave i gave in the same pattern physics chemistry biology so when need paper came i decided ki yes this is my strategy and I, i will follow this only uh, so when i started my physics paper uh, i instantly realized that it is not something uh, which i used to practice regularly in the mock test it's quite tougher than the general trend mm -hmm. so i solved one two three questions and when i saw the time it was like already 10 15 minutes were gone okay uh, but i didn't panic yeah. Uh, because like uh, my teacher that Akash already told me ki whatever the paper level is mm. first for few questions you will take a lot of time because okay. wo minds mere pressure hai. Right. so but still when I saw the physics paper once then I thought ki it is very lengthy so that time I altered my strategy like full okay. two years what I have followed I didn't right. follow that right. I switched to chemistry I solved full chemistry then I solved full biology and then I came back to physics and solved the full physics paper so that's that's the thing that you saw the paper and then you decided to what you need change to my do, strategy. which is wonderful and I think we should all learn from this that uh, we prepare a certain way, but on the real day, what comes to you, you should be flexible enough yeah. to uh, alter it for you in a way that works the best for you, like it worked for Arav. Um, what has been your favorite subject, Arav? I used to like all subjects okay. equally, but mainly uh, biology, of course, is mm -hmm. my favorite. And the least favorite? Not like Nothing. I like physics and chemistry. You like equally. you like all the subjects. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's fantastic. Let's journey back a little bit. Hmm. Okay, tell us how was your routine like one day before the exam hmm. and on the day of the exam. So one day before the exam, I decided that I won't study much. Just my light revision, short notes, the mistake book which I have made. So I will just go through that, and by uh, dinner time I will finish. I will not study anything after that, and I will take a good eight hours sleep in the night. Uh, need day. I woke up at normal nine nine o'clock and I left home at eleven uh, eleven thirty. Then I waited in the car and I like I took my time and uh, center ke andar, I think I one o'clock gaya hunga. One thirty was the last entry, so I went in one o'clock. I uh, registration wagera hua. Then seat mil gaya. So seat pe forty minutes to me aise hi tha. Then Invigilators were good, so they gave us the paper on time, like 1.45 they gave us the question, OMR to fill. Okay. So that was all done on time. Okay. So 2 o'clock I calmly started my paper okay. and then I gave the neat exam for 3 So hours. a day before you consciously chose that I'll take it easy, I'll rest it out, I'll yes. relax a little bit. Yeah. And on the day of the exam you thought it's a normal day. Yeah. Let's get on with then it. Just another mock test. Yeah, just another. That's a, a very good mindset. I think it helps you remain slightly uh, yes. calm. So basically, what my teachers told that do not panic. Panic. Whatever yes. level is coming, if it is tough, yeah. it will be tough for everyone. Mm -hmm. The score doesn't matter, the rank matters, which will decide your college. Okay, that's a wonderful advice that your teachers gave to you. Yeah. Uh, what role did Akash play? to shape your achievement journey? So basically, I joined Akash when I heard about the good test series. So mm -hmm. I followed NBTS NCRT booster test series and AIMS 120 test series. Mm -hmm. So basically, AIMS 120 used to happen four days a week and Sunday we used to have All India Akash test series. So basically, regularly giving the test gave us a mindset and trained our brain to perform maximum in the 2 to 5 p.m. time. So and doing a lot of questions gave us the variety uh, key we would able be able to face any type of problem that's great so, and if there is one advice that you have to give to the future neat aspirants what would that be so my base first advice would be to solve a lot of questions like keep on reading the theory won't help you as uh, like when i used to study like theory mein padli so mujhe lagta tha ki ha ab to mere ko aata hai but when I question solve karta tha, I used to learn at least 10 new things from the question I solved. If, when you do new question, you get that I this question ko us se bhi kar sakta So you build strategies in your mind mm -hmm. ki how to attempt a question faster or how can you improve your accuracy. Okay. And of course, to practice a variety of questions. Like, it was a general trend that yes, only, practice only NCRT based questions, mm -hmm. single formula based questions. But of course, this year broke that pattern. Yeah. So basically you have to start from easy level to build your basics but of course 
practice some challenging and lengthy problems and study everything conceptually instead of just focusing ki ncert pura dimag mein chhap lo right conceptually yaad karoge so it will help you right so variety is the key takeaway from this answer thank you so much and uh, wishing you all the very best for aims delhi thank you so the key takeaways from this story tells us that you don't need to chase perfection in mocks what you truly need is planning patience and trust in the process he also reminds all the future aspirants out there that staying calm is a true strength and not a weakness so stay the course and you never know the real exam day might just be yours <laughs>